Hello everyone and welcome back to HackCert. Today in this video we will be discussing about a website named VirusTotal. This is a very popular website that is very common among hackers and it is basically used to scan files for malwares with multiple antiviruses at once. What this does is basically if you have a file, if you are suspicious that it may be a malware or something, you just need to upload that particular file in, the, in that website and what that website will do uh, what that website will do basically is that it will scan that file with multiple antiviruses and it will provide you the result all right so in this video we'll be discussing how to use that particular website now before i begin i would like to thank everyone who subscribed to this channel i didn't think that i'll be you know i'll be able to reach 100 subscribers at such a short amount of time I know most of you have come from my previous channel but still I am very happy for the support that you have given me. We have finally crossed 100 subscribers. I am very happy for that and if you keep this support, if you keep uh, this support uh, for the upcoming time as well then I will be you know motivated enough to upload more and more interesting content for you guys. And another thing that I would like to mention is that next month I have some exams so maybe uh, videos will not come regularly I still uh, I'll still try to upload at least a video at least one or two videos in a week but if that cannot come then the reason is be reason behind that is I have some exams next month in the January so let's get on with the video now if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you remain notified each time we upload a video so for this open up any of your favorite browser and go to google.com and search for virus total all right just search for virus total t o t a l and if you simply search for this you will get this result if you you can see that the first website that is virus total.com if simply go into that website and this will basically load the website you can see it is loading it may take a while to load it is taking quite a while well now the the website has loaded up you can see it's saying virus total on top over here and it's saying that analyze suspicious files and URLs to detect types of malware automatically share them with the security community now if you are an ethical hacker and if you uh, write scripts that are you know that whose intention is malicious basically uh, those are used to infect system then don't test that particular software or script over here because what will happen is that once it if it detects that it's a malware or something then that uh, then the hashes of that particular script uh, script or software will be distributed with the antivirus manufacturing companies and in the next updates of those antiviruses the users will get the hashes of that particular file and if you send that particular file then there will be a greater chance of it being caught by that by any particular antivirus so if you are a I mean a developer or uh, specifically if you are a uh, black hat hacker or something and if you make scripts that are of malicious intent then there is a another website that can be used to test for those particular uh, test for that particular script whether or not it is malicious or whether or not it is detected as malicious by those antiviruses and we will be discussing about that particular website in some later video anyways so this is the website it looks like this if you open it up it says that virustotal.com slash hash slash home slash upload and you can see that it automatically opens in the file tab otherwise you have URL and the search tabs as well we'll basically be looking at the file and the URL tab in this particular video so once you are in the file tab you can just select this option which says choose file and this will basically open up the file explorer in your computer and you can browse through the I mean your directories to get that particular file that you are uh, wishing to scan or something in this case we will be uh, scanning this particular python script which I have just created and uh, this is not a malicious script or something this is just a simple script I think I uh, it basically adds two numbers right now I don't have any malware or any file that is malicious in this particular computer so I don't have uh, a sample to show you but I'll basically show you how this how this particular website works so this is the file you can simply select it and open it 
and once it opens up it will compute the cache uh, hash and it will basically analyze the file you can see that it is the analysis process and you can see that the result has come up now that I have shared that particular uh, file with this particular website you can see that the SHA 256 hash has appeared and in the next uh, what this website will do it will basically distribute this particular hash with the antivirus manufacturing companies if you don't know what a particular hash or what a hash of a particular file means basically if you uh, look at human beings every human being has a different kind of a fingerprint all right your fingerprint will never match with someone else even if you have a twin brother or sister your fingerprint is not going to match with that person as well similarly no matter whichever file is there in this entire world every file will produce a different type of a hash if you simply create a python script or any type of a file and if you just change one line if you just change one word in that or if you just change one alphabet if you put any space in it you will see that the hash will change every file will produce a different type of a hash if you want me to make a different type uh, if you want me to make a video specifically on file hashes then i'll make it for you guys you can mention it in the comments if you want such a video anyways so this is the sha256 hash there are many types of hashes like md5 sha512 etc but md5 and sha256 are the most popular ones and as i said we'll be discussing about it in different in a different video about file hashes if you want me to make any anyways you can see over here that it has uh, scanned with uh, different types of antiviruses like you can see avira baidu then komodo dr web then it, it all not only scans with uh, antiviruses but it also scans with anti adware as well uh, and different types of anti malware uh, services available like you'll see some of the popular ones as well let me search for some of them if i get any you'll get to see uh, you can see mcafee over here microsoft by microsoft i mean the windows defender that's there then you have kaspersky uh, avast mobile security and the avast the full version will also be there over here you can see avast avg antivirus then there are man many of them I can't find quick heal over here yes quick heal is not present for some reason but uh, I have seen quick heal in some of the scans that I have done in this particular website anyways this is how you scan a particular file you can see that none of the uh, antiviruses have detected it as malicious because there is nothing malicious in this particular file now let's have a look at how to scan for malicious URLs so for that if I simply open up my website let that open up it just it may take a while and if I simply copy the URL over here and simply go to the URL tab and put that uh, URL over here just paste the URL and it press on uh, click on that search icon and now it will scan for that particular website which is this website my website it will scan this particular website with different antiviruses to check whether or not this website contains anything malicious now I don't have anything malicious in my website obviously it's, so you can see that nothing is detected as mal uh, none of the antiviruses have detected it as malicious but if you visit uh, if you get a short link then like goo.gl slash something or bit.ly slash something and maybe you are suspecting that this person or whoever has sent you that particular link that person might have had sent uh, i mean the the main url behind that particular short link may be a malicious website or a malicious link so it is highly recommended that you first unshorten that link using some url unshorteners out there uh, available on the internet you can just simply search for URL expander you will get many of them most of them are free so if you simply get, uh, get that short link just simply search for an URL expander paste in that short link and you will get the real link real link behind that particular short link and once you get that real link just scan that particular real link with uh, over here in this particular website you can see that uh, you can see under the detection tab all the different types of antiviruses or a safe web browsing I mean 
uh, services like you have some of the eyes I saw a Google service over here where is that yeah Google say browsing so there are many many of them you can see opera then you can see web security guard you can also find some of the popular ones as well uh, Avira so there are many like bit defender over here bit defender is a very uh, popular one as, as well Komodo site inspector so in this way you can use this particular website I have uh, just shown you a simple file and uh, my website so you can scan pretty much any file but if you are a script developer if you write scripts and if most of the scripts are of malicious intent then I would suggest that don't use this particular website to test those uh, scripts whether or not those scripts are detected by antiviruses or not don't use this particular website there are there is an there is another option and we'll be discussing about that particular option in a later video so if you want me to make a video on that uh, website then do mention it in the comments and if you want me to make a video on uh, file hashes the file hashes or different types of file hashes then you can uh, ping me in the comments I'll also try to make a video on that particular topic so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video then do share it with your friends family or whoever you want to and also hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and hit the dislike button if you didn't like it and if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit the red subscribe button and also hit the notification icon that will appear after you click the red subscribe button that will basically send you notifications once I upload a video anyways so that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one peace